Hey everyone, it's Mr. Vargas here, looking to help out Math 8, Math 8 class, with homework 1.9, page 85. Let's look at a few problems. Number 1, we've got the square root of 23, and we are asked to estimate that, estimate that to the nearest integer. Well, the square root of 23 is going to be between the square root of 16, between the square root of 25, and this we know is 4. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 25 is 5. 23 is definitely closer to 25 because that would be only a distance of 2. Whereas 23 minus 16 would be a distance of 7. So, in fact, the square root of 23 is going to be closer to 5. 5 would be your answer. Number two, 197. Okay, let's estimate what integer that would be really close to. Um, I know that I can probably look at square root of 13, which is 169. And 14 would be really quick. One ninety six. Ooh, that's really close. And we know the square root of one ninety six is fourteen. So I'm gonna say that that's pretty close to that. One ninety six is close to one ninety seven. So if I had to estimate for number two, I would say it is really close to fourteen. Remember, with estimates, we just want um, something close, not exact, not exact answers. <clears throat> okay, number three. A little bit trickier, not much. We've got square root of 15.6. That is between the square root of 16 and the square root of 9. I know that the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 16 is 4. 15.6, however, is a lot closer to 16 than it is to 9. So this integer, or this square root, is going to be approximately... Alrighty, next one, number, let's go to number 5, cube root of 22. Okay, well that's between the cube root of 27 and the cube root of 8. From our notes, we know that the cube root of 8 is just equal to 2, and we know that the cube root of 27 is equal to And that was Teddy just saying hi. Uh, but anyways, the cube root of 22 is in between the cube root of 8 and the cube root of 27. We know cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 27 is 3, so that means uh, this cube root of 22 has to be somewhere in between there and if we had to estimate it's probably going to be closer to the cube root of 27 so we can say that the cube root of 22 is approximately 3 it's pretty close to 3 not quite pretty close Wait a moving right along let's look at number 8 number 8 the cube root Oops. Cube root of 250 is approximately what? Well, let's see what that falls in between. From our notes, the cube root of 343 is actually 7. less than the cube root of, or that's bigger than the cube root of 250, and that's probably somewhere in between the cube root of 216, which we know is 6, uh, 
Um, so that means this answer right here is going to be in between 6 and 7 if we had to estimate it really closely. But they just want us to find it, find the nearest integer. And since 250 is closest to 216, we can say that this is approximately 6. Or we'll use it in black. It's approximately 6. All right, last problem. Let's go down to number, what is that? Number 12, number 12, ordering. Ordering a set of numbers from least to greatest. We've got seven point nine square root of fifty and the square root of eighty five. Okay, this one won't be too bad. Uh square root of fifty. Let's figure out what that is really close to. That's really close to the square root of forty nine. So that's about seven. Um Square root of 85 is really close to the square root of 81, right? Square root of 81 is really close. And you know that the square root of 81 is 9, so this is approximately 9. And then you've got, over here, 7.9. So let's write those in order. Obviously, you would put square root of 50 first. That's the smallest. Then you could put 7.9 next. And then you could put square root of 85 at the very end. And that would be your numbers in order from least to greatest. Thanks so much, guys. See you in class tomorrow.